is your best excuse for not getting in shape and eating well? Truck drivers have a pretty good one, right? They're on the road for hours at a time, just sitting there and eating on the run. Well, a marathon truck driver from Kiwani found a way and has turned himself into a marathon runner. Jeff Clark is here to motivate us this morning. Hi, Jeff. Morning, Rachel. So you've been, truck, you've been a truck driver for how long? About 25 years. And a marathon runner? About eight years. Eight years. So we want to talk a little bit about your journey. Why did you, how, why did you want to start this journey to become fit? What was going on with you health-wise? Well, originally it was, uh, you know, we have a heart disease in my family, and there's a lot of heart disease and, and type 2 diabetes in the trucking industry. But I actually got started lifting weights because I, wanted, I had to unload trucks. So I had to strengthen, strengthen my back and shoulders and legs. And one day I was at the Y and said, you know, I'll try to run a mile on the treadmill. And how'd that go? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew you had to start training. And I read that you found rest stops along the way. And you started walking and running around rest stops? Rest stops. We developed actually a site to, for runners called RideandRoll.me where we're, where trails and things are near the truck stops. So originally started in Belgium, Wisconsin because I always went towards the lake because of the state park, and one day I went the other way, and eight-tenths of a mile from the truck stop is the inner urban trail. And so we started developing a map of places like trails that you can run near truck parking. So that you and other truck drivers can find a way to hit the trails. We share a lot of information. We started a Facebook group for truck and runners. We now have 415 truck and runners, and more than 20 of them have finished marathons. Wow, and you also have this fit system that you use in the cab of the truck. We have YouTube video of it uh, oh, yeah. to show uh, an example of how you work out in your truck. Can you explain the system? Basically, it's resistance bands. And to me, that's the, you can't really carry weights in trucks because you add weight to the vehicle. Oh. And you also don't want weights flying around in case <laughs> something bad happens. So it basically is just a series of resistance band exercises that hook into the feet. Um, into the um, bolts and seats that are already there that okay. we have to clip them onto. You find a way to work out pretty much all the muscle groups. It does, yeah. Bob Perry was the man that developed it, and, but it's designed specifically now for freight liners, but now we have developed systems for other trucks too. Well, look at you. You have YouTube videos, you have a blog, I think, you have Facebook pages. This has uh, become a way of many truck drivers then to, to try to become healthier on the road? Yes. And how does it make a difference for you on the job to be healthier? It, you don't get as tired driving. You don't get the sore back as much as I used to before I started running and doing the resistance band training and other weightlifting too. Well, he's done quite a few marathons. We have a picture of you holding up your medals, oh, yeah. standing outside of your truck. Yes. Um, and what do you plan to do the CELCOM? I'm going to be doing the half this year. It's just that, that 26 miles is really far. <laughs> And, uh, I agree with you. Yeah, I but, think 13 is far. It's, but it's the, the, the long runs, and I'm doing so much riding now in the industry with uh, TeamRunSmart.com and Freightliner. So how, uh, how often are you able to get your training runs in? I try to run four times a week. That's try amazing. To, usually three. And you're going to be speaking tonight. It's the Purveya Pints and Pointers. Right. At Green Bay Distillery. What will you be talking to folks about? Well, basically about my experiences. It, the running has really opened doors for me. I've gotten to meet so many people in the running world, from Ambie Burfoot, the uh, Boston Marathon champion. Got to spend some time with him. I've got to interview Catherine Switzer, who was the woman who broke the, the sex barrier for distance running, the woman whose picture used to get shoved off the Boston Marathon course. And I learned so much from her as far as building coalitions. Wow. Well, if you want a chance to hear what uh, Jeff has to say, head to the Green Bay Distillery tonight. It's free, open yeah. to the public. And right. what time is it at? Uh, 7 to 8. Hopefully, I'll only be speaking about a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he'll be there. And we'll put that information online, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. Thanks for sharing your story. Thank you.